Okay, good morning everybody and welcome once again to today's webinar. My name is Tim Pierce and I work within the sales team here at BTC Software. Um, I'm accompanied today by my colleague Daniel Keane. Um, Daniel is involved with spearheading the MTD drive internally within BTC Software and some of you may have encountered Daniel um, via some demonstrations that he's held in the past and other webinars which have been scheduled. Um, Okay, so let's start with the first slide of the presentation, and then we'll move into the agenda. So we're gonna look at the, um, the initial slide, um, which unfortunately, <laughs> for those of you who can see that, consists of a picture of me and Daniel. So um, the brief of our marketing team was to make me look like a younger version of Brad Pitt. Um, I'm the one on the left, and Dan is the one on the right. So as you can see, I've probably got about 20 years on Daniel and I will be having words with our marketing team. Um, but more importantly, as opposed to who we are, um, I'd like to run through the agenda. Um, so the agenda, um, as you can see, introduces some key areas into the presentation. Um, so rather than who we are, what's more important is um, who are BTC Software as a collective. Um, so we're going to look at that very briefly. Then we're going to move into the realms of MTD specifically. Um, and we're going to cover what is MTD, what does it mean? Um, then we're going to look at the um, making tax digital as a, a live thing. Um, it's been on the, um, the periphery and it's been promised as a thing, as a terms of a live function animal, um, but it is now live. Um, so we're going to look at the impact on your business then we're going to look at the, um, the details as to how we became an accredited HMRC vendor. Then we're going to get to the, the star of the show, as Dan refers to it as. So we're going to look at the actual product itself via an overview. So that's where Dan will take control, um, which I would imagine is what the majority of you are here to see. Um, we'll then have a quick look at the future of BTC Hub, which is the hub which contains at the moment entity for that. Um, we'll then discuss some pricing options in line with requirements, and we'll finish with a Q&A session. Okay, so some of this will be common knowledge to you, so you'll be well versed in, in who BTC Software are, but we thought that it'd be a good opportunity just to explain to those of you who don't know BTC Software, who may not be using our products, who we are and what we do. So we were founded in 1999, um, specializing initially in corporation tax software. So our first ever module was that of a corporation tax product. And since then it's grown um, to include um, practice management, um, self-assessment, and lastly accounts production. So that's really the core product. Um, we consider ourselves the provider of choice for SME practitioners. So that clearly is subjective. Um, we think that's borne out by some of the statistics that go alongside that. So you can see here that we have in the region of 2,000 practices reliant on our software. Um, that's actually split between practices and businesses. Um, I think the actual split is three quarters practitioners, so around about 1,500 um, accountants in practice and then 500 accountants in industry. Um, that combines to make a total of around about 10,000 users, um, many of whom are reliant on our software on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, in terms of geographics, we're based um, just within the M25, which makes the trip into the office sometimes um, rather frustrating. Um, we are in uh, Surrey, in northeast Surrey, in a town called Adelstone. Um, for those of you not familiar with the uh, area, um, it's kind of somewhere between Staines and Woken. Um, and then the final point, which for us is a salient point, is that we were the winner of three 2018 Accounting Web Software Excellence Awards. You may have seen the graphic at the start of the presentation, um, but those awards we're very proud to confirm covered um, practice management and CRM software, practice suite of the year, hence the reference to the choice for SME practitioners, and the best professional tax software tax products of the year. So we're very proud to announce that, and that's quite fresh because that was only awarded to us last month in 
September. Okay, so moving on to what is MTD. So this is where it's going to appear maybe like I'm reading, um, which in some cases I will be. But again, this is information which is, um, which is out there in the public domain. So we're not telling you anything you may not be aware of um, if you've done your due diligence and uh, researched it. So essentially MTD is a government initiative. Um, it was started by George Osborne back in 2015. So uh, we're three years from that date now. Um, when he announced the abolishment of the annual tax return. Now, in the beginning, HMRC wanted all accounting records to be kept digitally um, using a dedicated bookkeeping package. And importantly for each and every account posting to be sent to the HMRC in real time. So it's that whole real time issue. Um, many of you will know that the program has been scaled back several times since then. So what are we left with now? So now we're left with the submission, the submission um, in regards to the nine box VAT return um, once a quarter, or in some cases, once a month known as an obligation. Um, in addition, records do need to be kept digitally for that purposes. However, HMRC have accepted that spreadsheets such as Microsoft Excel can be used to fill this particular requirement. So it's been a, a kind of a, a moving target in many respects, um, which has um, potentially added to the complications alongside the timelines. Um, however, mandatory from April 2019 for all VAT registered businesses and individuals with a turnover in excess of the VAT registration threshold, i.e. £85,000 per year. So it's a mandatory implementation now. So that moves us on to MTD, the impact on your business. So we're going to look at some of the, the key issues around that. So as I've already referenced, all VAT registered businesses with a turnover above the VAT threshold of £85,000 will have to comply with the recent changes in legislation. That's there in clearly black and white. And um, businesses must keep VAT records digitally, thus improving the access HMSC has to businesses financial data. So the idea of this is it will reduce the errors currently made when businesses submit their tax returns. Returns must be sent via MTD compliant software. Hence, I would imagine your um, attendance today. So rather than submitting paper returns at the end of the year, individuals or businesses will submit digital tax returns on a quarterly basis, in most cases through an HMRC accredited software provider. Now, the idea again is that this will make it easier to plan and account for and to pay the tax owned. Interacting digitally with clients. So what does that particularly mean? Well, what they're hoping is that by adopting a digital approach, you'll be able to send and receive information from HMRC directly from our software. So it's all about the streamlining of the process in terms of filing returns. Tax in real time. So rather than waiting until the year end to sort out your tax affairs, the idea is that by paying tax, it will become a quarterly practice with HMRC's intention that collection of financial data will be done in, or, or in most places, as close to real time as possible. So that's the end goal. And then finally, a single financial account. So by 2020, so we're looking forward a bit here, every individual taxpayer and every UK business will be able to see their key financial information in one central digital account. So this is obviously the biggest change within the industry since the introduction of ITPRL. And in many cases, we'll supersede that. Okay, so that kind of leads into how we became an accredited HMRC vendor. So I'm just going to give you a kind of a very kind of brief timeline around that. 
So we already discussed that George Osborne mandated from 2015 in terms of the announcement was made in 2015. Um, so off the back of that, we enrolled in private making tax digital for business beta testing. So that's May of 2016. So we do know obviously that the, uh, the goals have been moved. Um, so we actually initially had our MTD for business module ready from 2016. Some of you may have actually seen it at the Accounts Exa show back in 2016. So that's been there for a, a long while now. So that will be moving back into play as MTD advances. Um, we attended workshops to collaborate on MTD materials. So when I say we, collectively, um, our development team worked with um, HMRC on various MTD materials with the HMRC MTD team. Um, again, continual visitation with HMRC, both at our place of work here in Edelstone and our development team visiting HMRC headquarters. Um, it's quite an interesting point here. So we have within the software an HMRC pre-population tool, an API, which will actually extract information relevant um, to a client and will populate information found within our software. So that was not the genesis in relation to MTD, but it's a nice API that we have in existence with HMRC. That relates more to the, the core product, but that will be advanced upon. Okay, so MTD for business self-employment work. Um, again, we showcased that um, at AccountX. So that took place. Although we had the product ready in 2016, it was shown briefly in 2016, but I think the majority of you, if you witnessed the product, would have seen it at 2017. And obviously 2018 um, was the MTD for that product, um, which you would have seen potentially at the Accountix show, or have seen since. Don't just want to draw on Accountix, but would have seen um, after that date when it was showcased. Okay, so I think that's um, me for the moment. Um, I'm going to pass you over to Dan, and Dan will spend some time showing the products, which I know is what the majority of you are here to see today. Um, so Dan's now going to open up the software and show you all the various options available. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Tim, for the introduction there. Okay, so now, as Tim mentioned there, the star of the show, introducing the BTC Hub. Um, so the BTC Hub, what we're gonna be looking at today is the accountants version. Um, however, the BTC Hub can cater for more than just accountants. Um, we have a version for the practitioners, so those of you who are accountants in practice, multi-businesses, limited companies, and then individuals and sole traders. And when Tim explains a little bit more about the pricing a bit later on, we'll see how the pricing differs and how the functionality differs in each of those different products. So if I'm gonna tab out of the presentation now and open up my web browser. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing the login screen for the BTC Hub. And you can see I've logged in via my web browser. So this is, this is a web browser based pure cloud product. And I'm gonna start by logging in to the BTC Hub now. So I'm going to log in using my email and password. And then I'll give you an introduction and a walkthrough of what we'll see when we open up the BTC Hub. So if I move my cursor to the top left hand screen, you can see we've got the new BTC Hub logo up in the top left. We've got my user, my notification bell, and then the help menu as well showing on the right hand side. We've got my main menu featured on the left hand side and within my home page, we can view my recent VAT returns and then my recent clients. By using the plus option, we can add recent, we can add additional VAT returns into here. 
And same again, with the recent clients, we can add individual clients using the option here and organizational clients there. Now in the menu on the left hand side, we've got the individual clients showing here and you can see the plus option again, where we can add our individual clients into the BTC hub and our organizational clients. Now, as I mentioned, this is the accountancy version. So we will, or the accountants in practice version. So we do have the individual clients and the organizational clients. There will be a version for individuals and companies and of course it will be scaled back slightly and that you're not going to have these two options you're going to have your organization showing in there if you're if you have multiple organizations or just the one we've got the VAT dashboard where we can search for our client and we can also add additional clients into here and then finally we've got our VAT report which is a holistic view of all our clients and also showing the statuses of each of the different VAT returns now we're going to be looking at three different ways of how we can get our VAT data into the BTC hub. The three methods that we're going to be looking at today are moving that VAT data from a spreadsheet into the BTC hub, moving VAT data from VT into the BTC hub, and finally looking at how we can import a CSV file from Sage. Now if we start by looking at the spreadsheet, I'm going to open up my Excel spreadsheet at the bottom here. And you can see here, I've got a VAT return summary. And you'll have a spreadsheet very similar to this with your sales and outputs and your purchases and inputs at the bottom there. So you can see my two different worksheets. Now, the first worksheet which I've got here is my VAT return summary. So this is showing the business name, the VAT registration number, the period dates, and then those important nine totals. Now we will have a, a template of this spreadsheet available to you, which will have um, the business name, the VAT registration number, and this information that we're seeing here, so that when you bring this data across using the add-in within Excel, which we'll see in a second, it will come through smoothly and nicely. Now in each of these different boxes, so these boxes one to nine, I have a calculation of where these figures are being brought through from, from my two worksheets here. Now it's important to mention with MTD, there has to be a digital buildup of that data. There has to be a digital audit trail, which obviously a, a spreadsheet as we know does count as a digital buildup. However, it is important that the figures you're being brought, that you're bringing across from the spreadsheet into the BCC hub have to be from a calculation in your spreadsheet. You cannot manually type these figures into the spreadsheet and then bring them across. So as well as providing you with the BTC hub, we will also provide you with an add-in within Excel. So if I go to my add-ins menu up at the top there, you can see within my add-ins view, I've got my BTC MTD add-in. Now the first stage when we get to our, our VAT return summary, which is going to show each of our nine VAT totals and where those figures are being brought from, we have to first define the VAT range. Now I have previously defined the VAT range, but what I've done here is I've held the control option and I've selected each of the boxes with the data that I'm bringing across. So you can see how I've selected each of those nine boxes. Again, this is why we'll have that template for you because it's useful to just go from the top to the bottom and pick each of those boxes up. We would then show our VAT range. So we're picking up our VAT range and we can export the MTD VAT data directly into the BCC hub. Now what I can do is if I close, if I log out of the BTC hub here and close my window and choose the export VAT, MTD VAT data option, that's going to automatically open up the BTC hub and I can again log in using my email and password 
it's going to automatically pick up my client with the correct VAT number, the correct period, and you can see my second obligation here, which is my second quarter, is open and it's populated my VAT returns. So it's populated those nine totals. Now it's important to mention the version that we're looking at today is a demo product, is a demo version of the software. So I only have two obligations here. However, you would have four representing your four quarters. And you would also see on the right hand side here, a list of your liabilities and payments from the prior year. Now, once I've populated my VAT return, it's important to mention that you cannot type into these boxes. And once you've digitally transferred them from the spreadsheet into the BTC Hub, you then cannot amend them. You would have to go back into the Excel spreadsheet or the data source, amend that VAT return, and then rebring it back into the BTC Hub. Now, once I've got my figures in here, I can choose the save option. And it will give me a, a nice view there of the VAT return detail. And if I edit and choose submit, it will ask me to confirm that I've read the above declaration and that I have the authority to submit the VAT return. So I can confirm, choose OK. And you can see our second obligation has turned from a red box to a green box and it has been fulfilled. Again, we can see our VAT return detail. And if I tick the button to view the submission receipt, it will give me my correlation and receipt ID and then the exact date and time that that, was, that, that return was sent directly to HMRC through our API. Now, the second option that we're going to look at is how we can import from VT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the VAT dashboard and I'm going to search for my client. And you can see again, we've got our obligation, our open obligation, which is our second obligation there. Now this time importing from VT, those who use VT will have noticed that there's a new button within VT called MTD export. So we can take a look at that now. If I open up VT at the bottom here, and go to my display menu and choose VAT returns. I can select my VAT return, which I want to import from the left hand side. And you can see here, we've got the option to MTD export. So I'm gonna choose that option. We'll get a nice message to say that the VAT return totals have been copied to the clipboard for entering into a, another application, a bridging tool. And if we go back into the BTC Hub, choose the import option and go to VTC, VT software. We've got instructions at, up at the top there. And if we paste our data, you can see we get a nice green box up at the top saying that our data is valid. And if we select the OK option, it's going to populate my VAT return. Same as we did before, we can choose the submit option. Confirm we've read the above declaration and have the authority and submit. Now, the final option that I'm going to show you is how we can create a client directly from the VAT dashboard. And it's important to mention as well the agent services account and the fact that we have new MTD credentials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new client here, choose the plus option and select that client. Now you'll receive this message when you create your client with the instructions of what's going to happen next. So we're signing into the government gateway account and we're signing in using our new agent services account. So it is a new account to your current HMRC gateway ID and password specifically for MTD. Now, this being a, a test database, I'm going to paste my credentials or test credentials into this box here. And we're going to grant authority to interact with HMRC. Now, once we've done that, same as before, we're going to get to our two obligations here. Open up our second obligation. Choose the import option. 
And this time we're going to go to Sage and we're going to upload a CSV file. We're going to browse for our CSV file. Select it. Again, we get our nice green box to say that the data is valid. And as you can see, it's going to populate my VAT return. All that's left for me to do is choose the submit option, confirm, and submit directly to HMRC. Okay, so I think that's gonna draw a close to the demo. We are gonna have a question and answers session at the end. So me and Tim will hold on uh, for about 10 minutes at the end and answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much. Over to you, Tim. Thank you, Dan. BTC, MTD, VAT, VT, did well to get through that one. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, hopefully you saw um, how simplistic the product is, and, and really it's been built on that. So we've not tried to um, produce overly complicated solutions to a, an issue. Um, we tried to make it as simplistic as we possibly can, so hopefully that was witnessed through the, uh, the demo. Um, just before we take the question and answers from the floor, um, I just want to expand a bit in terms of the future and uh, the road ahead. So the future of the BTC hub, um, our development plans in terms of the, the platform itself. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to replicate what we have um, as a core product into the hub. So initially, obviously, that started with the VAT filing. VAT filing is a key feature within um, the core product at the moment, but not in terms of MTD. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add all of our award-winning functionality in terms of practice management and CRM and move that into the hub. We're then going to extend that to add MTD for business and self-assessment submissions. Um, we're building into the hub functionality that isn't at the moment found within the core products. So that's going to include very shortly time and fees. We do have actually a time recording function available within the core products, but we're going to produce an actual time and fee module. Um, we're obviously going to be um, reacting, so we're going to be proactive in terms of HMRC initiatives. And finally, what are we going to do? We're going to listen to our customers' suggestions. So um, we do take pride in responding directly to all of our suggestions all of the suggestions rather, which is sent to us via the suggestion link, which you can see from there is suggestions at btcsoftware.co.uk. So all suggestions are listened to. Um, we don't act upon all of them for obvious reasons, because some of them are slightly left field, um, but we will recognize the ones which will add benefit to the product, the solution, because if it's relevant to you as a practitioner or an accountant in the industry, it's also gonna be relevant in most cases to your peer group. Okay, and then finally, let's have a look at the pricing structure. So if you've liked what you've seen today, um, we can discuss pricing. So I'll run past that very, very quickly. So Dan alludes to the fact that we have a, um, a professional version and a business version. So let's start with that. So the professional version entitles you to full access to the hub in terms of being able to manage your clients. So you have all of that functionality or fingertips in terms of reporting and that holistic view of all of your clients at any given point of time. Now the professional version designed for accountants with a number of um, clients is priced at £250. That's £250 plus VAT on a 12-month license for 
the first 250 returns, which equates to just over 60 clients if all of your clients are submitting quarterly returns. Um, what else do we have? We have a business option. So the business option will relate to um, larger entities whereby you'll have more than one VAT registration number. So that's, that's a kind of a salient point, whereby as a business, if you're national, um, you'll likely have more than one location and more, more than one, in most cases, um, VAT registration numbers based on the groupings of the companies. So we have a business version, which is also priced at £250. Um, additional returns, um, so this relates primarily to the professional option rather than the business option. But for additional returns, you're looking at £125 for 125 additional returns. That moves us into the territory of individuals and companies. So here we're looking at smaller entities, we're not looking at larger businesses. Um, so for an individual, um, you'll have access to file per VAT registration number up to 12 returns. So that's based on a monthly commitment, but clearly that will run on a quarterly basis also. So 12 or 4 returns, um, and that's followed suit in terms of the company option. So be an individual or a company above the VAT threshold, we've got you covered at £50 per year based on being a smaller entity outside of having multiple VAT registration numbers. Okay, so that's the pricing. Um, over now to the Q&A session. So um, I'm looking at all the questions which have come through, of which there are um, a high number because we have a high number of attendees on this particular webinar. So I can't promise that we're going to be able to answer. In fact, we won't be able to. I'm looking at the list now, which is expanding as I speak. We won't be able to cover all of the questions in this short period of time allotted in terms of the next 10 minutes. Um, but any questions you do ask, I promise, will be answered. Um, by Dan or one of Dan's colleagues within his team. So we will get back to you by no later than um, in the play today. Any questions you may have that you don't think of initially, um, but come to you as a question later on, um, do please feel free to email me, myself or Dan, uh, or Dan and I, as I should say, to give the proper grab, <laughs> is um, to email in would be the best option and then we'll cover the, um, the questions on a one-to-one -one basis. So the door's not closing here. Um, you can still um, email in and uh, we'll address any questions that you may have on a one-to-one -one basis outside of this forum. But I'm gonna pick up on a few of the questions. So then I think what I'll do here, I'm gonna read out some of the questions and who's listed the question. And in the time allowed, we'll answer as many as we can. Does that sound okay? Perfect. Okay. Um, so the first question I've got here is from James, and James has asked, can I put clients under the threshold on MTD, so on, on the hub? Yep, absolutely. So you can sign up uh, clients who are under the £85,000 threshold to MTD. That is an option. Um, so the answer to that question, yes, you can sign up clients who are under the threshold of the £85,000 to MTD. Okay, so that's that's a black and white answer. That's, that's a yes or no. Um, the next question that's come in um, is from Adam. And Adam's asking with regards to um, the credentials. So he, he simply listed, are there new credentials um, over to you then? Yep, so there are new MTD credentials. Um, the new account is called an agent services account so you are able to sign up for an agent services account on the gov.uk website now i'm sure the majority of you have signed up for your agent services account and hmrc will bring across all of your existing 648 information into the agent services account so they should have sent you credentials if you sign them up sign up to an agent services account already um, and you'll be able to sign in online to view all of the digital information Fantastic. Um, Raj 
has asked, so Raj has asked, is this multi-user? Is this a multi-user option? Well, I guess the question is, is there a multi-user option? This isn't. But then is this a multi-user option as we see at the moment? Yeah, so the practitioner version, the professional version, and the business version are multi-user products. Uh, for the individual version and the company version, they aren't in, they aren't multi-user. Um, but the, the pro versions are multi-user, yes. Okay. Um, Felicity has asked, is there a recording of this presentation? Yeah, there will be a recording made available. Uh, we will email everyone uh, in attendance today with a recording of the webinar um, so that you have access to that as well. Okay, um, I have a Simon and Simon has asked um, as to whether this is cloud-based. Um, yep, so it's a, a web browser-based solution. Um, and it is a pure cloud product, so a software as a service, a SaaS product. Um, so yes, there is no desktop application. Um, a subscription to the BTC Hub would involve uh, a login to log in online, and then also an add-in within Excel, as we saw, so that you can pick up your spreadsheet data uh, should you need to, or should your VAT data be on a, a spreadsheet. Um, I have a question here from Maya, and um, Maya's asked about the core product. So you mentioned the core product. What features are included in that? Um, well, the core product features practice management, tax software, year and accounts. Uh, we also have a desktop and a cloud version of the core product, um, and then also additional modules such as company secretarial um, and GDPR integration as well. Okay, the next question comes from Rob, and uh, Rob's asked, when is the product available from? Um, so the product will be available uh, from today, uh, following the news last Tuesday of HMRC uh, going live for the public in terms of MTD. We are taking orders and getting people set up. Uh, we've had a number of our customers uh, set up on the MTD for that solution already. Uh, so this product is available to buy from today. Okay, I, I think that's going to kind of uh, draw a close to the question and answer session. I'm aware that there are a lot of um, um, outstanding questions as it stands at the moment because I'm being fed them through, or they're being fed through to me rather, um, as we're talking. So there are a lot more questions that need to be rounded off and answered. So we will get back to you, I promise. Um, what I would suggest is if you there's anything you were hoping to see within the confines of the presentation that you haven't seen, um, let us know because we can potentially incorporate that into future presentations. So, so all feedback is what I'm getting at here is, is, is definitely welcome. Um, so let us know and that would be very, very useful because if, again, if you're open to something you haven't seen, I guess that would be relevant to um, to your, your peers. Um, okay, so that does draw a close to today's session and um, thank you for attending. What Myself and Dan will do is leave the webinar running for the next half an hour or so. So do please feel free to carry on asking questions. They'll be um, uh, collated and then printed in the format of a report. And we'll get back to you on an individual basis. So once again, on behalf of myself and Dan, we appreciate your time. And um, do please feel free to contact us if you would like further information or looking to proceed with the purchase. Thank you. Thank you.